So here is my new craft space. I'm so proud of all of the work that I did in this space to get it looking like it is. I am so proud of myself. I put together everything you see, even the dream box with the help of my daughter. But we'll start as you come in the door. I have my pray more, worry less as soon as I walk in. I wanted this to be a Zen room that um, my mother recently passed away and that belonged to her. So it's almost like having a piece of her in here. That's why I have that there. These are a Calex unit that I actually got from Ikea and I added feet to them to bring them up off of the floor so that I can have some under storage. But I love them. I actually overshot my storage. I have way more than I need, but I absolutely love it. I also have behind here, I'll move that at, um, later on in the video so that you can see really what's back there. Those are two Billy bookcase units that I have back there that I put together. And you see that they're barely full with anything on them because like I said, I overshot my storage. I put up some just inspirational artwork just to keep me centered and to have something inspirational to look at when at every point of my room. It's my refrigerator that I have for my clay canes that I make to kind of cool them off before I cut them so that they're easier to slice. Oh, my pride and joy is my sign that I got. I actually got this off of Amazon. Um, the things that I got off of Amazon, I will link below the video so that you can get them also if you are interested. And I also got that refrigerator from Amazon also. I am into a lot of crafts. I know you guys don't know that because you see me do clay a lot. But this machine here is a actual 3D model making machine. Haven't got quite into it. It's still brand new but I'm looking forward to making my own polymer clay cutters with this machine. So this is my wonderful dream box. I spent the last couple of days making the inserts, all the purple inserts that you see. Um, I have not got as far as organizing each drawer yet. So hiding the madness behind there with these inserts was right up my alley. <laughs> And I have my little purple flowers. Purple is my favorite color, just in case you didn't know. It was also my mom's favorite color. So this chair is so comfortable. I got this also off of Amazon. It even has a footrest that you can pull out and rest in. Very, very comfortable chair. And as we go around the dream box, this is my... Cricut area where I will do all of my paper crafts. Everything Cricut is in this area. And again, I will move that, I will move the doors um, as much as I can and show you really what's behind the doors. This is a very small room. I'm not even sure of the measurements. It's small, but then again, it was just right for my craft room. I made this painting at a friend of mine sipping paint for her birthday and I just love it. I put it up there because I think I did a good job for one and for two, it reminds me of her. And this is my clay machine for all you craft people out there. This was amazing. Found this on Amazon, put it together. Everything clay is on here. My slicers are down there. My Lucy is here. And if you look over there, there's my clay machine and my extruders all in one spot. I love this. Came up with it on my own. Not saying anybody else in the world hadn't done this, but I was so glad that I came up. And it's on wheels. So when I'm sitting at my craft table, I just pull it over to me. I also installed this monitor onto my craft stand because I like to watch TV sometimes when I'm crafting so I can just hook my iPad up to this and I can watch Netflix. 
And as we come this way, this is just my station where I do my resin. If I'm doing resin art or if I am um, putting a resin coating on some of my polymer clay pro projects, that is where I do that at. That's my resin station. And if we come over this way, these are more crafts that you have not seen me do online. Um, I love to sublimate. I have sublimated a cup when my mom passed away. I, when I pull up the dream box doors, I'll go out there and get the cup that I sublimate to show you. But I bought the HTV Runt for the sublimation of the tumblers and the HTV Runt for the sublimation of t-shirts and, and the big press. I have not used them yet. They're brand new. I can't wait to get into those. I really want to sublimate or press me some cruise shirts for me and my family or friends. I would love to do that. And I have more artwork here. Faith makes all things possible and anything is possible if you just believe. Just inspirational things to keep me going from day to day. I found this little lady here on Wayfair and just because she had on purple and she's so beautiful, just reminds me of everything black and beautiful and purple again, my favorite color, my mom's favorite color. So that's why you see a, a pop, that's why you see a pop of color everywhere in my craft room. And as we come back, excuse out there, I'm still unpacking, but as we come back, you will see, um, I showed this, I think in another short, that's just where I'm keeping all of my clay. Every drawer is filled with clay. That also came from Amazon and it is a dupe of the Alex drawers that you can get from Ikea, but much less expensive. This is my wonderful craft room that I am so, 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 so in love with. And also this rug came from Wayfair. And again, you see the pops of purple. But that is my new craft room that I absolutely adore. I just adore it. I'm going to stick in a clip of what's behind those doors and show you the sublimated cup that I made. I'm not going through every drawer like people do with their craft um, room videos because it is just a hot mess. Half the time, I don't know what's in which drawer since I moved. But I just wanted to get this video out before I really start moving things around in here and start crafting. I hope you enjoyed watching. Now let's craft.